just ordered the Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Oh ordering. my god. <laughs> we wanted to order Chick-fil-A, but the line was mad, mad long. So we were like, fuck that. Well, I wasn't like, fuck that. I was low-key like wanting Chick-fil-A. But I got me so was like, we should just go to Chipotle, which is like right across from Chick-fil-A because it was going to be easier and quicker to just order and pick up or like at least, you know, get the food quicker because there was a mean old line. They finessed me last time waiting, remember? Like I took hella long trying to get my stuff last time from uh, Chick-fil-A. From Chick-fil-A, yeah. Oh, I know. Like a whole ass hour type of shit. 40 minutes at least. Yeah, that's why I'm just like, man. And by the time we got our food, the food was so cold. Like, what? I wanted my refund. I didn't even eat the fries. And their fries are bomb as fuck. But they were cold. You feel me? But anyway, we're actually going to be filming the story time today of when we actually started dating. Or how we actually started dating. We Ooh. tried filming this yesterday with a crab, like the bag of crabs and stuff. But we did it in the car and it was so messy. It was so crazy. We couldn't even like concentrate on eating let's be real with them we got hella grumpy too in the yeah, middle of the whole thing like, we did we, we did. were just like let's, like <laughs> i feel like just taking us our, back to yeah, that day like our story wasn't easy bro like it wasn't easy on my end it wasn't easy on her end it wasn't easy so i feel like yesterday like you know we both got petty we both <laughs> got we're trying to like, <laughs> go through the story and stuff but in a better mood today you see i like when you don't wear makeup because i'm not scared to kiss you when I you know like, time, maybe but when you got a face full of makeup, I'd be like, like you know, I just all makeup, cause then like, bro, like her makeup would just rub up on my face. And since he's like dark skin, well, darker, darker than me, like he's actually more tanned. So my white ass foundation rubs on him, and you can tell. Or like tell. on my hat, like I hate when it gets on the rim of my hat, like my hat taps your forehead. I'm sorry. Like, like, I guess I'd be like. Ah. <laughs> Aside of us getting grumpy and shit, it was just so hard to eat the food. And the food was so good, but we couldn't enjoy it because, I mean, you guys know that whole crap stuff. You put on the gloves and you just get messy, you know? And dude, like, look, like, I don't... He got stabbed with the crab. It's kind of hard to see it, but it got a little owie. It's because you were like, it hurt, huh? Well, it's because it had, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we didn't you have, have the proper tool. Did as we had nothing but gloves. It's kind of whack that they don't give you at least like a disposable tool. Yeah. You know, they should have some sort of. You know what? Of, like, I think they give it to you, but if you eat in there, like they give you probably everything you need type of shit. Wow. You know, because it's ordered to go. But it was good though. It was like, it was tax though. Like, it was shit. And I feel bucks. like I didn't even eat. It's still in the fridge. We but still gotta finish it. Like, yeah. We're gonna go get the Chipotle <laughs> and we'll get the story started. Thank you for the Chipotle, baby. You're welcome. So I'm actually talking with my brother right now with Yo Kev. Say what's up, bro. What's up, what's up? <laughs> He's gonna be out here soon. You guys are gonna see him in the vlogs and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be lit. My baby already came through with the Chipotle. He got off with it because I was actually on the phone. But see, we eat different. Show them real quick. He mixes his shit all over the place, and I eat like section by section. I mean, I know everything's already mixed. You get me? But I don't like going. Nah, I in. literally like. <laughs> Spin my food around. <laughs> I don't That's know. Like, I just like the taste of it combined. It's like I mix it, but like little by little, what I'm eating. Cause I've done that before, where I mix everything. You know, no me lo cago, ya todo está mojado. Well, yeah, I mean, like... that's the thing. Like, I'm on a mission to finish my plate. Mm. Is that how you feel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eat everything on my tray. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, the story time. Let's get to it. You gotta do it right this time. If you guys watched the How We Met video, we low-key teased you guys of, like, how we started dating. We left off at where he said he had a stripper dancing on his lap, giving him a lap dance, and he got mad because I was dancing with the guy. And that's where we ended the video. It's another long story. We couldn't fit both stories in one. You guys were going to get way too confused. But we already filmed the How We Met. It's on my channel. You guys can go check that out. Um, but we're actually going to be telling you guys the story of how we actually started dating. Which is pretty fucking interesting. Okay. Which happened a couple months after we met. Like. Yeah, because when we met, I had, like, after we met, I went back home. Which, if you guys didn't know, I live in Washington and he lives in California. So we were, like, in different states. California. Basically, it was, like, a long-distance friendship at the time, you know? We would talk every night. We got close. I was going to come back to L.A., for two weeks and he told me I could stay at his place so after two months 
of me being in Washington and him in California. We're just, talking every day. Yeah, though. we're just talking every night. Every night. More like every night. After two months, I came back in February. Because the last time we saw each other was in December, right? The first and the last. So then fast forwarded to February, I'm taking my flight and I actually get to his house because I actually showed up at his doorstep with all <clears> the bags and everything. And you barely made it home, huh? Because you were you were like in the Bay, I think. Yeah, like I had literally driven home. I think I just rolled up and I just like just started getting lit. You know what I'm saying? And then you were started like, started oh. getting lit. Yeah, and you're like, yo, like, I'm here. And I was like, what? So a little bit of context. Um, Again, we met a couple months prior. We met around December. Mm -hmm. Um, so a couple months prior to us actually taking that step to become a couple, we were just friends and we we're just talking and stuff. But now, even though we were just friends, we hadn't done anything with each other, bro. Cause like the first time she came around, bro, she came to my house, we smoked, we drink, we did everything and we didn't try anything with each other. Like, you know, we didn't try no, no funny moves. Um, and I just felt like when she was back home, that's kind of how we started becoming friends. And we started to get, like, it felt like we kind of knew each other a little bit because of so much. So, I mean, I would tell her everything, bro. Like, everything that was going on throughout my day. Like, she was my friend. I wasn't, you know, she wasn't my girl. I got, she knew everything. So, Every, I feel Listen, like, we would talk about, he would talk to me about females. Right. And I was so supportive. Well, so, we like, that's friends, how, though, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Know? That's, like, that's, I was the, supporting you with things I'm just you had going to, like, on, too, for, you know? So they can understand the type of friendship we actually had, you But know? now throughout all of that it was bullshit we both wanted to act like we wasn't feeling each other and it annoys me because she she plays the i don't the play the innocent card, you know? role it was but just listen. hard for me to actually piece two two together because like he was being all flirty and lovely dovely with me but yet you were wilding on instagram plus on the phone calls you would tell me about bitches so i was right. like so neither of us were perfect but long story <laughs> short um we were flirting already so it was obvious we were both feeling each other we was both like, you know what I'm saying, throwing hints, but at the same time, it was never nothing like, it was never nothing that serious. I don't think we ever, you know what I'm saying? It was all like friendship, like I don't know, but you know, we I, turned I feel into like, best friends. Yeah, like, we was best friends, and in a lot of ways though, I was feeling her, she was feeling me, and I think neither of us wanted to be in a relationship. I feel we're like both, we were like, so in scared denial. Scared about that shit. I feel yeah. like you were feeling shit, but you were like not wanting it to accept it yourself, and I feel like I was also feeling things, but I didn't want to like. Cause I don't remember the last Tell time I had feelings for somebody. That's what I'm like, saying. Oh, so it's like know? it's almost like we were like in denial, you know. Plus, we kept telling each other while we were friends the whole time. Like all the conversations we would have, it was more like, oh, we're not. I'm not ready for a relationship. I don't want a relationship right now. Like we would really talk about everything. So me hearing that he wasn't ready for a relationship and knowing I wasn't either, well, even more of a reason to like not even tap into like my feelings of what i was feeling for him you know it was crazy yeah but i remember like when you first got there i was hella excited i was like i went outside and i give you a big ass hug he did. I was like, oh. and that's because he told me he's like when you get here i'm gonna give you a big tight hug i thought bro the first time she left i was like shit like i really didn't want her to leave like the first time and like, you we also met gave and stuff, me a you know? long ass hug yeah i, I didn't want you to leave i was like fuck but at the same time like i think it worked out that you did leave at that time because it gave us more time to really, you know what I'm saying, become friends and just like know each other. Mhm. Mm so I feel like you got there that night. Um, oh, I had just had a long ass day, you know. Mm -hmm. I just got back from the bay. Granted, though, I didn't even drive none of it. I was in the back seat, like cool. But you were like, working, though. No? Yeah, but you know, I was cooling. Like I wasn't mm -hmm. driving is really what I feel like takes the energy out of you. Yeah, when you're driving for eight, nine hours straight. So I feel like when you got there, I was just like, I felt good. I felt energized. I didn't feel tired or anything. So I was like, yo, let's go to the store. Let's go get some alcohol. You remember the we old went to dude? CBS. Remember the old oh, dude yeah. that was like hella mad at Listen, us? Listen, granted, like we were, because before we went for the bottle, I think, we were taking dabs. We were smoking. We were actually taking fat dabs and stuff. But mm -hmm. we were all low-key already like on the level, if that makes sense. And then we hop on the car and we go to CVS to buy a bottle. So we were already like, not just that we smoked, but his house always smelled like weed. So you also smelled like that, you know? So when we got off at CVS, we didn't really realize we reeked. You know, and then when we were in line, there was this old man behind us that was just talking that ass, right? And you caught on to it some faster white than dude. I did. Or some mm -hmm. old white dude. Just but, like, you know, like, me, like... Being I just sit, Yeah, Brian go sit there and, like, try to funk with, like, an old dude. I was just kind of like, yeah, like, it's whatever, you know, but... I got me so close. She's like a little rooster, bro. <laughs> she was like... I have your bag. Why are you... I know, I, I'm, I, I mean, I know, but there's times when you just got, you know... You look pretty, baby. Just, I'll be quiet. You know. <laughs> so I was like, you know what I'm saying. Especially because like some old dude. So I'm just like, what? What are we doing? Like, but he gets too mad time, like... because like, okay, 
I get it. I reek. And it's probably bothering you, but, like, I'm not hurting nobody. Just because I smoke a little bit of weed doesn't mean I'm already, like, a deadbeat person. Like, yeah, he was like, you're probably a no-life. I know. Talk about we're low life. Talk like, about, like, we're nobodies. Like, you can't even maintain a job. Bitch, like, that's what my house is on mad. top of a fucking hill. <laughs> like, talk, what are you talking about? <laughs> I had the nicest view in L.A. Well, like, all that that he was saying is what got me mad. You I know? know, but, you know, like, in my head, like, I wasn't really getting mad. Because I'm but just then, like, fuck yeah, it. I, like, did I realize, knew how I'm I was like, living. Like, I was like, he kissed my ass, you know? <laughs> Plus, you, you realize it was just an old man. So, you're mm -hmm, just like, you mm -hmm. know what? What could he do? All right, you know? really old, bro. Like, old and fragile. Like, you know, I'm not going to sit there and argue with him. But, I mean, I'll be real. It felt kind of like a racist moment for me mm -hmm. at the moment. Because... Well, you know what I'm saying? Here am I, bro, like, and here's this dude who don't even know me trying to talk that shit, like, bro, shut the fuck up, you know? What the hell? But anyways, we get the bottle, we go back to the crib, and we just keep turning up, bro. At this point, we literally, like, it open the Patron, bottle. It was a Patron, huh? So, I, I really like to drink, like, Patron, Patron, the tequilas, green one, you know what right? I'm saying? You like the green one? Or I like the, the transparent one with the little green strap that goes mm -hmm. around it, yeah. And it being in that green box, no? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It hits, bro. That Patron is Especially a... Especially because we were, like, chugging, basically, like, You notice that we shots. never get real hangovers? Like, our hangovers well, aren't true. like, oh, fuck, my head hurts, like... Yeah, I don't think we And we, we go straight into the bottle, like, we're just, like, drinking out the bottle at the time, bro. And we're just passing it back and forth, like, just... I take the drink, your turn, take the drink, we're mm -hmm. pre-gaming. So I started to feel hella good. And I feel like that's when I was like, let's go to the strip club. See, listen, I was really tired from the whole trip from Washington to LA because I was already like traveling all day and I got there like at 9, 10 at night at his house. So then I was low-key tired, but I got to his house and he was in the mood to go to a strip club. So I was like, fuck it, you know? Like, I'm not going to be there and be a party pooper and be like, oh, I'm tired. I feel like we should stay in, like, you know? So I was with it. So we ended up going to the strip club. Mm -hmm. This was already after we had pre-gamed pre and shit. We're huh? term. We were... Really, but really we were low key in the back seat drinking, probably already a little drunk, coming up with a, a handshake mm -hmm. because I felt like it. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I think it went something like, hold oh, up, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. It was like so, this. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Wasn't it like this first? Yeah, I think so. And then one, two, three. And then, and then, so then like we, the boom. And, and then, then our feet would touch. Yeah, our feet touches. And, and then, then the, boom. Ah, uh, see, I told you, forget it. You forgot it more than me. <laughs> What? Where'd you do all the knuckle part rock? It two. <laughs> so, Listen, it's been a while since we made it, okay? Before we was in the car, though, um, I was like, I knew that neither of us had ever taken the time to be like, this how we feel about each other. But I was still trying to, like, I knew she was feeling me, though, because she, she would flirt back, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't flirt back with somebody you ain't, you ain't feeling, like, what the hell? So I knew she was feeling me, so I was feeling drunk and confident. And I, I remember she was, like, in my room, because I put all her stuff in my room. Mm-hmm. I left my luggage in his um, living room. I thought she was going to sleep in the living room crazy. I thought I was going to sleep like in the sofa or in the other room, you know? In my head, you I didn't be like, I'm going to let this big ass booty go sleep in the living room while I'm in the room all innocent. Well, listen, my innocent ass thought so. Shut your okay? ass I, didn't, up. I thought you was that innocent Shut too. Shut your ass up. He knew, he knew I didn't I know on. you was a freak. He knew what I was on. He knew that was some mm. bullshit. So yeah, like I said, like I was trying to show her like, Make sure we're on the same page about things, you know? So when we're in, when she was in the room getting ready to go to the strip club, I like, ran in there. And I ran in there and I just like grabbed her. Like, I he kind closed of the door her, too. You know? like, yeah, like, I remember seeing that when you walked in, he walked in because I'm like, oh, it's his room, you know? But he walked in and he closed the door. I'm like, oh, okay. But it's because he had people over too, you know? It wasn't just me and him. So he had closed the door. And when he's, once he closed the door, he like basically rushed me to the ground type of shit, you know? Mm -hmm. It was cute. I ain't gonna cap. And I did end up like landing on top of you. Like, like somehow like, when we, I like... grabbed her, like I went around, you know what I'm saying? And then like she ended up literally on top of me for a second. I was like, holy shit. She was <laughs> sitting on my dick. <laughs> she was like, you know. So, okay. If somebody does that to you, you guys been talking for months. I, t tell me, like comment section, like. Is that not enough to be we like, yo? We were best friends, listen though. To me, though. I was like, my best tell friend really that... loves me. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. See how she's full of shit? <laughs> Look, tell me that's not enough to be like, all right. Because, like, at least in me, and if I was in that position, I'd be like, okay, this is the thin line between, like, yo, no, it, it got to go this way, or, like, or you're going to let it happen. And you let it happen. So I'm just like, what else was I to expect? 
you know? So we're in the backseat of the car when we're coming up with that handshake. We were there cuddling up and shit. That's what it annoys me, bro. When she tried to hit me with the, I didn't know. Okay, look, right? So we get we, we go to the strip club, bro. We go to the strip club again, boy. I think the worst thing we could have done was be, been drunk. Like, Not just that. We weren't alone. It was the first day we saw each other after two months. Yeah. And we fucked up. Like, we didn't really... Tell me your text is. Hello? Sorry. Um, <laughs> I had just got there after two months. We barely saw each other in person. And he had people over. Plus, it was a long day. So, we never really had that five, ten minute sit down and catch up type of shit. Or even, like, say what's up. You know, mm -hmm. we barely said hi. Like, you barely gave me that tight hug. And then, yeah. boom, we walked in, started smoking, drinking, and, like, you feel me? So, when we got, when we got to the club and we were super churned, it's kind of like everything went out the window for me. It's kind of like... Feelings, emotions, left the window, you know? I, I'm saying, like, when I was at the club, like, it was like I wasn't feeling shit. It was like, I'm at the club, I'm like, I'm single well, yeah, as fuck. You, you were over here I with got this badass bitches. chick with me. I'm gonna throw some money. Like, I'll probably, what bad like, chick? What bad you, chick? smart ass. Mm. So I'm well, just you like, had a whole ass the boss, naked I'm saying, like, on But you, in my head, I'm, I came in with this badass chick, and I'm still gonna come in and get lap dances and shit. I felt on, like, in my head, I'm like, I'm... Oh, Oh, bro, like, this is it, you know, like, I'm living it up. So, again, bro, this, all right, that's the selfish part where I, you know, I didn't treat her like somebody that I liked. I didn't treat her like somebody that I'm, okay. All that went out the window for me. So, I'm throwing money, bro, like, I'm doing my thing, you know, and she's just sitting there next to me, like. It was awkward as fuck. I was there with him and his friends, and I was just, like, watching them enjoy the strippers while the whole, <laughs> listen, the strip club was really packed. Aside of that, I didn't even know where to look. Like, people were looking at me like I was in the wrong place. By the way, this was the second time we were at a strip club together. The first time was in December, mm -hmm. but we were friends. You feel me? And that day, the strip club was empty. There was also a female like, giving him a lap dance while I was right next to him. So, like, nothing new. I guess I didn't really care. That, that's why I didn't feel some type of way this time that we went to the club. Because I'm like, oh, well, we've done this before. Plus, we were friends. You feel me? I didn't think, like, again, we didn't tell each other we had feelings for each other or anything so like who well, your feelings hurt my feelings was hurt ever since you was fucking around on instagram but i didn't say shit you feel me this tough girl over here no look oh your, your camera's about to die <gasps> Ooh, at least we caught it i have more batteries do you yep hold up <laughs> we're back is this the middle okay like i was saying my feelings were hurt when he was like posting all this crazy shit, like wild shit on Instagram. Because, I mean, if you guys have been a real one since the first day, you guys know I was the first female <laughs> that he posted like doing crazy shit on Instagram with. <laughs> you feel me? And out of nowhere, he decided that, oh, I could get more bangers if I do this <laughs> and that with other different type of bitches. Like, and I remember he would call me and he'd be like, oh, I got a new bang. Nah, 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 nah. That video is going to get more than 100,000 views. And I would just be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, I wouldn't even like the motherfucking videos because when I would hop on Instagram and I would see them, I'm like, bro, what the fuck is this guy, like, really thinking? Like, this is this is ain't no banger. Like, it ain't going to fucking go viral. You feel me? Well, look, she, look, but, listen, like, she never said that. He's not going to admit it, but he was low-key just really trying to see if he could find another female that can, like, boom. Because... Come on, let's be real. I wasn't the first female on any of his social medias. But I was the first and only one that actually, like, boom, people I actually wasn't, fucked with. I wasn't, look, first of all, I wasn't looking for a female. I was I looking know, for were, but you, females, like, in my uh, head, I, I'm, I'm keeping it a hundred. In my head, I'm like, I'm single. I wasn't looking to be like... Oh, I need this one and with this one. I'm just build. I know. I'm, I'm not saying like that. as as a friend, like a relationship. I'm just saying you were looking for other females that could like there you go. G explode your fucking yeah, page uh, up. Uh, you feel me? Because like, look, let's be honest. He got his first 100k view video on Instagram with me in it, and that's when he's like, oh, I can keep doing this with all the other fucking females, and then we'll get a million viewed video. But he got that million viewed video with me too. So like, so, uh, baby, you was your ego. listen. You was really trying uh, to like, ego no, quick. stop, stop. Kiss you in the forehead. Shut your ass. But she tried kissing my forehead last night. I was about to smack the hell out of her. You a little kid. <sighs> Shit. I'm gonna get six nine and kiss you in the forehead. <laughs> Keep talking that ass. Yeah, I've been teaching mm. how to box. So six nine. If you're seeing this shit, he a little boy. Kiss him in the forehead. <laughs> Is that right? That's right. So we're at the club, right? And like, 
I'm throwing money. She's just sitting there next to me. I'm feeling good. At some I think point, I asked for a, a shot, no? And you went with me to the bar. Yeah, like, I'm gonna go get a shot. Hell, I'm mad. I was like, oh, I'll go with you. See, I, I don't even care about these bitches. I, I think, I would, like, I'll be real. I think in my head, I was really trying to be like, I want to see how far I can push it. You've been do you were doing that the whole two months that we were talking. <laughs> I was just trying to see how far I could push it. I'm like talking to her like, what do, what do you think about threesomes? Like I was talking crazy to her, bro. Like I, I, was, I was just trying to see how far I could push it. Again, bro, like I didn't really know my emotions or feelings towards her yet. I was confused. I was like, I was fuck boy. Like, what, what else can I say? You know what I'm saying? I was on my bullshit. That's the first time he actually admits it. But... So we go, right? And we're like taking shots or whatever. We're drinking at this point. And I forgot who she was trying to talk to, but she wasn't having any luck. It was a, another female she was trying to talk to or some shit. And at the end of it, like, they finally ended up, like, talking and stuff. So that's when I was like, boom, all right, whatever. Like, I left. And I was like, she was at the bar still, and I was back, like, sitting down and stuff, you know? I wasn't paying any attention. But I didn't pay attention when he left. So when I turn around, he's already over there back with the stripper. And I'm like, well, you know what? I ain't going to be it was following like him. women conversations. Like, in my head, I, I'm I just get like, it. But gonna, listen, you know? I was, in my head, I'm like, why am I going to, first of all, I was single too. I was full of uh, confidence. So, you feel me? I was just there like, shit, these strippers are bomb ass fuck. Like, I was there actually trying to be friends with the stripper. And like, yo, what's your name? Like, what do you go by? You so know, I forgot what they're going to do there just standing there. You I know get what I'm it. saying? But like, like in my head, I'm like, why the fuck am I going to go after you, though, too? You know, I wasn't going to be behind him chasing him like Tom and Jerry and so shit in a strip club. You feel me? Like, we weren't shit. You were my man. What the fuck was I going to be fighting for? A dick that's not mine? Come on now. You know, I got more respect for myself than that. Like, So, while I'm over there, right, I'm back with the strippers and shit and with, like, with these two guys. Um, wait, wait, wait. Stop there and let me get to a point where I'm, I'm with the, you know? Because you said oh, I, well, was, I was... I was about to say that. I was, I was about to tell them how I turned no, around and I saw yeah, your ass. But that's what I'm telling you. Because first, okay, I was talking with the stripper, right? While he was getting a lap dance with the stripper. I, the, the bitch wasn't giving me a lap dance. I was talking to her in the bar, like, just standing up. Like, I think she was already, like, about a clock out. Or I don't know what the hell. We was just talking right there, you know? And um, we exchanged numbers, blah, blah, whatnot. And then I just turn around and he's gone. So then I'm like, oh, well, fuck. I stopped talking with the female, too, because she, she was right there with some other females and shit. Other strippers just talking. So I'm like, why am I going to be butting into their conversation? You feel me? I don't even know the females. So, like, why even try to, like, be friends with them? At the end of the day, they're here for money. I ain't going to be there giving them money just so they could be my fucking friend and, and talk to me for the night. I'm not the guy. You feel me? I'm not the people that go up in that bitch. I'm not him. But anyway, I don't give money to talk to me. When did you ever see me talk to any? Of but I bitches? know them bitches get money. I was like throwing too. money to see some booty. I wasn't there talking with nobody. Like, come on. <laughs> I hate when stop. It gets hot. Give me a kiss. Mm, give it to me. How does it feel? No soy un perro. <laughs> yeah, you see, bro. She be doing that shit to me, bro. From hell afar, she be and she like, I ain't no fucking dog, you know? Don't call me over with... Like, don't fucking do that shit. Stop. I don't do it on purpose like that. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> it just gets worst. annoying for me to be like, give me a kiss. I'd rather just like... Look, you know? So anyways, because right now she's getting all bo booty tickled. Okay, tickle. wait, wait. No, no, no. Stop. So he ended up leaving. So then I was like, you know what? Fuck this. So then I turn around and I see a guy there standing. And he was just looking at me too. And like, it looked like... And no female was trying to talk to him or whatnot. Like, it looked like he was bored, too. So I was like, yo, you want to dance? And he was like, I don't know how to dance. I was like, well, fuck, I'll teach you, you know? So listen, this is how we were dancing. Try to picture this. We were looking at each other face to face. My ass was not on his dick. His dick was not all over me. My, my His face was not on my boobs. Like, I wasn't giving him no lap dance. I wasn't really backing it up on him. We were face to face. And I was telling him, look at my feet. Just go side to side and just fucking lean side to side, you know? Like, just simple shit like that. Like, I wasn't even... I never not once even touched the dude. And he never once Why even touched me. Why should I dancing with some random So then, guy? he... You had a whole stripper on your that, lap, bro. That goes there for you that. You had a whole ass stripper on your fucking lap. That goes lap. there for that, you know? Like, she, she goes in there to do so that. So what am I going to go in the club for? Just to watch you do that? Like, fuck that, bro. That's Come on expecting. now. That's what I was expecting. You got the wrong bitch, bro. So, yeah, she started dancing with some random ass guy, bro. So, while I'm there, right, the homie's like, hey, where's she at? We turn around. We all turn around. This is the worst part. We all turn around at the same fucking time. And they see her ass dancing with the guy. And they're like, ooh. And then they just turn back around. Like, trying to act like they didn't just see that shit. But I knew they knew. I knew they knew. And I knew I knew. And that's all I had to know. I got the hell up. And I was hot already. I'm drunk too, bro. So can you just picture this? Picture 
a dude with the whole ass stripper on his lap. Let me tell him. And then this the female bitch, over here was dancing with the innocent. I moved innocent this bitch out dance. the way. She was all like, get the fuck out the way. You know what I'm saying? Because she's dead ass like in my way. And I'm like trying to get up to go. And then she's like, just got like, get the fuck out of my way, bro. Like, I moved this chick out the way, bro. And there was these really weird chairs. But you didn't have that much yeah, space to back like up. Weird... Like, big chairs. Like, mm-hmm. kind of like, I don't know. But like, I like tried to back up and the, the seat got stuck as far as it went. So as she was coming at me, I was like, get the fuck out the way, bro. I literally like, pushed her ass basically back on stage. I get up and I like just march straight to her. Now everything's going through my head. Like, do I punch him? In my head, like that was where that's where I was at. Like, you know, the disrespect. Like, I'm gonna have to come put my foot down right now, bro. I should have went and grabbed her by the fucking weave. <laughs> so look, Shit. I go up and when I get there, I realize this ain't my girl. <laughs> <laughs> One time, up put there, two two together. I was like, this ain't, but, but I was mad though. So I'm like, man, what the hell are you doing? You know what I'm saying? He did tell me. It was, like, what? Oh my god! Was, like, being okay. a total fucking woman. Hold let, me, let me say, let me say, pause, 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 right there, real quick. <laughs> now let me let me tell you my point of view. I was right here, like showing, looking at my feet and looking at the guy's feet because I was really trying to teach dude how to. How to dance? Why? You know? Why? So, so he can random. Dance with me. So Fuck random it, you know? ass guy, bro. And like, you didn't have a. Did you know the stripper? She was hired to be there, like. But he, it's he some random you know ass stripper either way. Like, come yeah. on. You know, you always. Why do you guys always do that? Oh, my ladies, come and defend me in comments down below. Let me know. The disrespect. <laughs> the level of No, disrespect. it's just funny how guys be like, oh, I could do this, I could do that, I could do... And you expect the female to just stay there and not do nothing. But hell once the yeah. female pays you back with the same fucking card, that's when you get butt hurt. That's when you're well, like, oh, hell problem. no. Shit. We got a problem. With, with some, it is muy machista. We got a situation. Like, fuck that, We got bro. a situation. I went up there, you know, when I went up there, I realized, this ain't my girl. I can't really flip out the way I really want to. So I was just like, yo, call the Uber. This no, chick. you. He was like, "Yo, what the fuck are you doing?" He said that. So I remember I was looking at the guy's feet I and my feet, that. right? I, said, I just said, I said that. like I said, we were we were dancing, and I don't know where I look up, and I see these coming at me like all crazy and shit with like a weird I look asked you one on question. his face. What the hell are you doing? After that question, I said, uh, 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 "You were like, uh, I was just like, what the uh, fuck do you I was mean like, when I'm call- no stop? I was like, what do you mean? What am I doing? Like, what the what and are I, you what good? I, you, I, said, I, I said, kept asking him, are you good? Like, what's wrong? You feel oh my me? god, that pissed me off. You good, bro? Like, don't fucking tell me. I'm obviously not good. I obviously just ran up on your ass like I'm not good. So I'm like, call the Uber, you know? Bruh. Bruh. Guys, listen to this, alright? You take a chick to the club with you. <laughs> alright, granted, she ain't your chick. But you're at the strip club, right? And you see her dancing with bro. And you're gonna tell her, like, man, you tripping. Like, call the Uber, you know? She had the audacity to look me in the face and say, No, you call the Uber. What the hell? Is you're the one that wanted to leave, you, shit. bro. Plus, well, you were the one that wanted to go there, and you were the one that wanted to leave. I don't care. So I was like, You know what, man? Fuck that. Like, I am going to call the Uber. I'm going to call the Uber for myself. That's all I That's really what I thought. You wanna, I think you, you wanna, did tell me, no? Did you yeah. tell me too? In my head, I was like, You want to be here dancing with some random dude? Let, let him figure out how he's going to get you home after this. You know what I'm saying? So whatever. I like I left. I bounced, bro. I just walked away. I was like, I'm good. And when I went back, I went back. I told the guy, I was like, let's get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's go. And they're like, all right, for sure. So boom, you know, we get our, we get up and we get the fuck out. And when, while we're outside, we're just like outside talking and shit. Because you left me. I know. Like, he just went up to me, told me that, and walked away. So in my head, I'm like, well, fuck him, you know? Like, what the fuck? I was mad, too, because I'm like, you just had a whole ass stripper on your lap. And you come over here acting dumb. First of all, we're friends. You ain't my man. Like, I was so confused, honestly. So I was like, fuck that. Like, I ain't gonna beg no guy. I actually did order the lift. I went, I looked for him. I didn't see him, but I saw a door, like, right close by to the bar and I walked out that door not knowing it was like an emergency exit so I ended up in the fucking alley so now I had to like walk my ass out to the front of the club and right as soon as I like got there I saw that my Lyft driver was pulling up but then in my head I was like oh I'm leaving by myself you know because I did I thought they were still in the club but then I turned around while I'm hopping on the lift and he's already walking out with his friends and shit we're like in a little corner already because we Mm. already came down the stairs so we were on the corner but I like I seen you and I was like, oh, she she called the Uber. You know what I'm saying? Because I saw you there. I saw that. I'm like, I knew that she was going back to the crib already because all your shit was at the house. So I was like, I ain't about to pay for another Uber. Like, let's go. You know what I'm saying? So we hop up in the car. We're in the car, bro. Awkward as hell. And she wanted to throw up. Oh, my God. I remember, I remember he pushed that. me to the fucking window. Yeah, bro, because I can't deal with puke. Puke is, like, the worst for me. One. Two, I hate, like, feeling like an inconvenience to people. 
So if I'm paying for a service, well, I wasn't paying for that service. But we're in this Uber, which is a paid service. You know what I'm saying? And you think like, oh my God, this girl's about to throw up in this person's car. Like, I would be so pissed if I was an Uber driver and somebody puked in my car. So I'm like, bro, whatever you do, don't I didn't throw, throw up, up though. I didn't. I know, throw but up. I was pissed. My I stomach remember, was feeling like a little weird and shit. I just I didn't remember throw sitting up. in the like I was in the middle and I was just like, bro, don't throw up. Like, don't throw up. Like, I was praying that. Listen, she didn't but puke. aside of that, that's not that was not the problem. I told him I was like, yo, you know, like going back and looking at everything that had just happened because I was still tripping out. Like, what the fuck happened? Like, what triggered him to give me that attitude to come at me like that? You know. I was so confused because, come on, in reality, I didn't do shit. It's not my fault he had mixed emotions and he liked me. He was trying to push the, the fucking the situation, see how far he could take it. And then he ended up getting butt hurt. Like, that's, that's not my fault. Why the fuck you play with fire if you, you're scared to get burnt? Like, that's not my fault. You feel me? So I told him, I was like, look, check this out. Aquí que muera todo, you know, like, you do you, I do me. Once I get to your house, I'm gonna pack up my shit and I'll find a place to stay. This Don't is like, trip. This is like three in the That's morning. That's what I told him. It was four, I think, four in three the morning. Four in the morning, yeah. I didn't even realize we were at the club that long. I think we just left late. Because we weren't at the club that long. I just think we left at like two in the morning well, to the club, yeah. you know, because we weren't there like how long. Like, we were literally there at the most 40 minutes, like, at the most, like. But then again, we were low key drunk and shit. We didn't even know how to tell time. Like, but I don't feel like it. Just didn't feel long. That long, like, yeah. You know, it felt like everything happened quick. Even the moment from us sitting down to you going to the bar was quick. That was like the first fifteen minutes were there, that all of that went. You know, but I felt like when well, you were at the bar, you was taking a minute, bro. Like that was probably like the next fifteen twenty minutes was you being over there. Dead ass, for real. So we get back to the house, right? She she had to ask like she had to ask. Homie, I was with us for help to carry her back. Cause I it was did. So heavy. I was look, but listen. Had, I was tipsy as a motherfucker. She had, like, she had came from another state with them. She had brought them from the airport by herself. Not all the way drunk. To the crib. Not drunk. Like, Still, I, in my head, I'm like, why the fuck is this fool helping her grab her back? Like, if I was with anybody and then they had some chick and the chick's wilding and she's like, grab my back. I'm like, psh, psh, you grab your back, girl. Like, I ain't your dude. So, you know, that's just a whole, that's a whole was, other just side because, note. No, hold up. Just because he was already butthurt with me, he expected the whole world to, like, just hate me and shit. In reality, I, like I said, I didn't do shit. He was just, he had all this crazy shit made up in his head. That's why he was fucking mad. Yeah, don't look at me like that. You're making me I wasn't seem expecting like, the world to hate you. It's just at the end of the day, like, this is supposed to be riding with me. So if I ain't fucking with you, they ain't fucking with they you. They were you helping me get saying? my bags out of your yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They leave. shouldn't. They shouldn't have. They should have sat right there. And be like, you better figure this shit out, girl. You better go call that dude from the strip club to come figure it out for you. You're sad. <laughs> so look. Little kid, bro. She gets her shit, makes her way out the door, right? I had like a, what would you call that? Like the front to the door, like a, a balcony, kind of? Patio. A patio. A patio. Yeah, I had like balcony. a little. A balcony. I had like a little patio there. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think we even had a couch there. I don't remember if there was a still couch there no. when you went there. No, we used, to, we used to have like a couch right there that you could just sit on um, right outside. But I was in the room already by myself, bro. Four in the morning, bro. Drunk, like whatever, bro. I hope she doesn't leave. Like the shit, I was like the first shit that went through my head. And another part was like, man, fuck her. Like hell no, fuck her. She was dancing with some guy. She could figure it out herself. And another part of me was like, I really ain't dating this girl. And I did have a stripper on me. You know? And then I feel like I realized right there, like, I, I think I like this girl. Like, there was no denying it. Because in my head, I'm like, if I didn't like her, I wouldn't have given a shit about seeing her dancing with somebody. You feel me? So while she's outside, I was just, like, thinking about everything, bro. And it was like, I instantly just, boom, got up, went outside. And I was just, like, started talking to her, you know? That turned into a fire when he argument. Came, when he came outside, I was really, low, I was really booking my... Um, Uber driver to just anywhere to any fucking hotel or anything, you know, just get the fuck out of there and then just figure everything out later, you know. But I was just like, all right, so we're outside, bro. And I'm like, first of all, I didn't hate her, so in my head, I'm like, I'm not gonna just let this girl leave by herself at four in the fucking morning and be like, good luck, figure it out. It's a cold world out there, like, bro. I had already told her you're gonna you can stay at the crib. All this shit, you know what I'm saying? So in my head, I'm like, damn, I'm letting my feelings and shit ruin everything we had planned, you know? 
So that's when I was like outside. Things that I never even knew existed. So it was none. None of it was my fault. El solito se estaba. Or know, none of it was her fault. It wasn't, bro. Okay. Like your whole right. world was ending because you. That, that was you. That was all you. Hiciste una tormenta en un vaso de agua. All right, sure. You guys let me know down below if she's completely innocent and I'm just oh crazy God, and I'm bro, wrong. I already told you, you can't compare the way we're All right, all right, but like, I'm not asking you. I'm asking, I'm asking them, okay? Like, just because you're a guy doesn't them. mean that's okay. Just because you're a guy doesn't mean, oh, I could do this and you can't do that. No, nah, but like, you're saying you didn't do that. nothing. So I'm asking them. Like, you, you're, you're saying you're innocent. You said this is all me. I'm crazy and I'm full of shit. Well, so, yeah, because you came at me like, what the fuck? That's, your, that's, your, that's what you think. So I'm asking them. I'm asking the viewers. What do you guys think? You oh my girls out there know exactly what I'm talking about. Tienes que dejar de ser machista, cause that's bullshit. That the guy can go to a club, have a whole ass bitch and stuff. I'm asking like, them. Like the lap. I don't care. I already heard it I'm from you. I'm also talking to times. them too, though. I'm also talking to them too. Like you guys see how salty you know? she gets? Look at this. Nah, it's this just is why we the can't way the, the way you act. Like oh, you know, bien acá, bien hombre, bien like nah. You were you fucked up. You were doing this and that. That's why I went up to you. Like chill. The way you make it seem like. You know? Anyways, after like probably like an hour of being outside and just going back and forth, like, you see, I didn't know my fault. I'm innocent. Yet she had feelings and shit, acting like she didn't. She was hiding that shit. I wasn't all up on a guy like that. Still, so what? Like, still, you're out here trying to act numb to the whole situation, acting like you ain't give a shit when you do. Like I shit. said, how how can I even like show you I give a shit if you're wilded on Instagram, if you're talking to me about having naked bitches in your house, like, come on now, bro. Like, how can you, how can I, how can it, dude, en una mujer, todas las mujeres allá, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. All my girls out there, if you're talking to a guy and you see that he's wilding on Instagram, he's talking to you as a best friend and he's telling you about how he be having naked bitches at his house and you're still giving him good advice and shit like, ah, oh, don't trip, blah, blah, there's gonna be better bitches, like, I don't know what. <laughs> and then you guys end up going to a strip club, he has a whole ass stripper and then you dancing an innocent ass fucking dance with the guy and out of nowhere, everything is your fault. Everything is like, oh, why are you acting like you didn't know I liked you? That's her perspective. Or, oh, why are you acting like you didn't know you liked me? Like. Because if, if I liked you or I didn't like you, I didn't even give myself that opportunity to even, like, consider us being together an option because I was seeing the way you were moving, the way you would even talk to me and tell me all these things. Come on now. So, like, Ms. Negative Nancy over here. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? Once we, were outside of the, once we were outside of the house and shit and we had probably been going at it for a while, we both finally, like, got to the realization, like, yo, I like you, you like me, like, why are we being like this, you know? Like, why are we acting like... This isn't how we feel. And that was the first time we actually cuddled up and shit. Mm-hmm. And the rest is history. Well, you're just a boring storyteller to end it like that. Well, the rest is history. Like, what are, what are we going to I say? hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know you guys have been waiting for a see, while the, to, sweet? um... Wait, stop. What's the, what's the, how would you end it? That. Telling them thank you. I hope they enjoyed watching it. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, my God. I really hope you guys, like, pay attention to the story. I know it probably, like... It was like all over the place, but I hope you guys do pay attention and you guys comment down below and tell me who the one, who who's wrong here. You feel me? No, stop, stop that. Who's wrong here? Stop. <laughs> That's the little ass kid, bro. She's like, you guys seen uh the little stitcher? It's like, stop touching me. I'm not touching you. Stop touching me. I'm not touching you. <laughs> That's like her ass. You're so fuck. annoying, bro. Stop. <laughs> hey yo, go check out our couples channel. I think we were supposed to say that from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> we opened up a couples channel finally. It was long overdue. It's Louie and Jen. The link is gonna be down in the description. We're actually gonna film our first video right after this one. So you guys aren't ready for this one either. Mm -hmm. Do you have it with oh, you? Fuck, show it we tonight? didn't even bring it, babe. Slipping. Hey, those there's two brains right here. Slipping. Neither even like, you know? Hit that like button though. You guys should really check that video out though. You guys are not ready. I don't think anybody's expecting this. Well, low, key, <sighs> low key, I think some people could expect it though. Let's get to a thousand subscribers on the other channel. Especially if you watch this whole video. You obviously, you know what I'm saying? You can give, give, give some <laughs> sort of, you know, fucks about us. So go check it out. And that's really how we started dating. Like after that, it was just like. We still didn't really know if we were gonna be like official boyfriend and girlfriend, but like we were just getting more serious and serious with each other, you know? And yeah, the rest is history. Hell yeah.
gosh, I hate how all this started. Okay, if I could be real, I hate that our fucking beginning. Bad. No, it wasn't that bad. We had to really try to film this two times because just we us sitting down, the first just time. us sitting down and, and remembering this and actually talking like him saying his his part of the story and me saying my part of the story. It's like you already saw. Okay, I'm surprised we were even actually able to get through this video today because yesterday it was impossible for the same reason that he's just pointing fingers and I'm pointing back and we're just in you know. So now we need you guys to point fingers at us instead.